Firewalla raises alarms to notify you about things like suspicious cyber attack, abnormal uploading data or large bandwidth usage, certain user activities, a new device connecting to the network, a device leaving or returning your network, internet connectivity update, and anything else that may need attention. To look at alarms, you can either tap on the alarm notification or the alarm button. The search bar allows you to search alarms by device, destination, app, or alarm type. You can also filter the alarm list by tapping the alarm type here, and the filter will stay active the next time you open the list. With each alarm, you will be given options to handle them. You are not required to handle every alarm that is raised, and when you do, make sure you know what you are doing. As soon as Firewalla is installed, you'll receive a few new device alarms to tell you that devices are connected to your network. If you trust the device, you can either ignore the alarm or tap on the archive button to remove it from the alarm list. If you are not sure what this new device is and want to block it from accessing the internet, tap block. The app will prompt you to choose between blocking all internet traffic from and to this device or the network it is connected to. Confirm your selection, a blocking rule will be created, and this alarm will be archived. All the alarms you handled will be moved into the archived alarm list. From there, you'll be able to undo your action. Whether archived or not, all alarms will be automatically deleted in 30 days. If you don't want to wait that long, just tap the three dots icon on the alarm and delete it from there. Now, let's take a look at Activity Alarm. Firewalla is able to classify network activities and generate alarms if someone in your network is playing games, watching videos, or visiting explicit sites. In this example, an alarm is generated when Melvin watches YouTube in the office. If you want to temporarily suppress all video alarms, you can choose to mute it for an hour or for the day. If you are okay with Melvin watching videos and want to prevent similar alarms from being raised in the future, you can mute the alarms matching the site, domain, or the YouTube app, and then apply the setting to either the device, the user Melvin, the entire office network, or all devices managed by this firewall box. When muting an alarm, the alarm settings will be updated. The alarm settings are where you tell the box what types of activities should generate alarms and whether a notification should be sent out. In addition to the general settings applied on all devices, it allows you to create mute settings on devices or specific targets or target lists to stop generating certain alarms. This is the mute setting we just created. In addition, for behavioral alarms, including abnormal upload, video, and gaming activity, if you prefer not to mute the alarm entirely but want to reduce its frequency, you can lower its sensitivity. In this example, instead of mute video activity alarms, you can set general alarm sensitivity to low for all behavioral alarms here or adjust it for video activity only. Lastly, if an alarm is unclear or you continue to see too many similar alarms even after adjusting the sensitivity, tap the three dot icon in the top right corner of the alarm, select provide feedback and let us know about the issue. We've now covered the basics of the alarm system. This concludes part one of our alarm introduction. To dive deeper into managing security alarms and handling abnormal upload alarms, be sure to watch part two.